Here's my new plane, same graph, but instead of thinking about distance and time, which is just one specific, specific example, these axes literally could be anything, right? So let's go back to the way we normally call the Cartesian plane. We normally call this guy x, so that it, it can indicate anything. Um, this guy we would normally call y, but I'm going to say, let's also call it f of x. We're representing using all of that function notation which we developed earlier in the year. You've got this vertical thing is going to be dependent on this horizontal thing. Okay? Now, if I've got these as my labels, when I think about this same right angle triangle in here, maybe you want to, just for the sake of your own diagram, make it a little bit bigger than before. When we look at this right angle triangle, and we look at working out the gradient, which is like, What's the slant of this hypotenuse, right? What I need to know is, what is the run? What is the rise? And then I just do a division. That's how I normally do this for gradient, right? So let's actually get a little more specific here. Let's pick a point, an x value, and I'll literally call that x value x. If I went forward a little bit, okay, I'm going to move a little bit to the right, okay? Um, the distance that I'm going to travel, for reasons that will become a little more obvious later, I'm going to call this distance here h. h for height, by the way. Um, if that distance is h, then what will the x coordinate of this, this further, this right to most value here be? You've started from x, you've gone forward this little bit, what will the value be here? x plus H, does that make sense? If H were 1, for example, then this would be x plus 1. You've moved over just a little bit, okay? So there's an x value. There's a, an x value a little bit further along. I can use each of these to work out the y values, right? Because these will give me the rise. Now, this is f of x, this blue function, right? So if you put in x, what y value should you get out of that? It should be f of x, whatever, whatever your f is, right? It could be a trig function, or it could be a parabola, or who knows, right? What about this value up here? This function value comes from a different horizontal coordinate, right? So when you put this value in, what will you get up here? f of x plus h. Of x plus h. Very nice, Ishan. So this is all of the numbers, uh, all of the values that I need to work out my rise and my run. Let's think about it together. Rise. This is how far vertically you went, right? So you want to start from like the top and subtract the bottom, like 100 take away 0. But in this case, it's not 100 or 0. This is my top value, and this is my bottom one. Are you OK with that? So I'm going to do top, take away bottom. It looks a bit gross f of x plus h take away, what's the bottom value? f of x. It does look a bit gross, but that's because I'm trying to describe this could be any function at all. Okay. What's the run? That's the rise. What's the run? I don't have to do any calculation at all. We've already done it. H. Think the, the run is how, how wide this triangle is, right? And we started off by saying, what if you went over this little distance, which I called h, right? So therefore, the run is just this value here, h. So I've got a rise, I've got a run. Now, what we're doing is we're calculating the difference between two uh, points in space, and then we're dividing between them. That's what gives us gradient. Uh, but because we're now going to be thinking about, remember I showed you that animation before, right? We're thinking about changing this, not just between one point and another one, but between any points. I could put x anywhere I like. So instead of calling this the gradient, it's going to get a bit of a fancier name. It's still the same thing, um, but we're going to be using this phrase a little more frequently. Because we're working out the difference between two things, this is something to do with difference, so that's the first word in this phrase. And then once you've got your rise and your run, what operation did we use again? We're going to, we're not going to multiply, we're not going to add, we're going to divide, divide right? Um, does anyone remember, what's, think back to like polynomials. What's the name of the thing, the answer, when you divide two things? It's not a product, it's not a sum, it's a quotient. Thank you very much. This is what we call the difference quotient. Okay, it's what happens when you divide rise over run. It's the same thing as gradient, but um, we're trying to be a little more specific about what we're calculating here. Okay, so this difference quotient is the rise, which is this guy take away the run, which is this guy. OK, put a big box around that guy. We're going to be using this a fair bit, the difference quotient. And here's what we're going to be using it with. So, 
I want you to look closely at this graph that I've given you. Thank you, Mrs. Lee. Um, what does that look like to you? What do you see? Seems like a parabola. Good guess, okay? So this is a parabola. I want you to look even more closely. Could you make a decent guess as to what parabola it is? Oop, sorry. Just, just have a look at the information you've got there. Just have a guess. Could you work out its equation? X minus... X minus... Hmm. So... For a second, I'm just gonna, we are going to work out this equation. I promise you can all work it out. But I'm just going to let that question sit in the back of your mind for a little bit. I promise you've got enough information here you can work out the equation. I haven't heard anyone say it yet, but you can keep on thinking about it. Okay? Here's what I want us to work out. You're going to take some time to do this. Okay? On this diagram, I want us to work out the difference quotients. And you're welcome to work together on this because there's a fair bit of work to do. I want us to work out the difference quotients at different places on this graph. So for example, um, over here, if we start on the leftmost area here, if I wanted to work out, actually, no, let's start, let's start over here first because we were thinking about rising things. It's a bit easier, right? If I think about a point starting here and going over to here, I've put on grid lines there to make it a bit easier for you, okay? I can draw a right angle triangle that fits onto these coordinates. Let me see if I can make it nice and obvious for you. Can you guys see that? Can you make it out? Yep. yep. Good. So I've got a right angle triangle here. Here's my right angle triangle, like so. And I can work out, I can literally see the rise is going to be 1, 2, 3. That's how high it goes. What's the run? 1. one. So my difference quotient in this case, I'm just going to write difference quotient, it's going to be 3 over 1, which is 3. Now, you can go ahead and you can calculate the difference quotient all the way along the graph, um, not just for this one, but you could do, like say, I'll put it in a different colour so you can see it a little more clearly. You can work out this one. You can work out this one here. Uh, you could work out, here's another one over here, except this time the rise is not going to be 3. The rise is going to be negative 3 in this case because you're dropping, aren't you, right? This is Usain Bolt deciding everyone's, um, everyone needs a chance, so I'm going to run backwards for a little while, okay? So you can see here, I can work out the difference quotient all the way along and I'd like you to do every value that you can on this graph. Can you do that for me? Go ahead, uh, work together with the person next to you. Do blocks of one and write down your results in like a, a table in your book so you can write down the difference quotients for this function. And then I'd also like you, like these are blocks of one, right? I know it's going to seem like, why would I do this? But pr I promise there's a reason. I'd also like you to do blocks of two. So for example, I will show you one right now. If I started up here at y equals five, up there, can you see my orange dot in the top left hand corner? If I went over two units, two units, right? Actually, I'm going to get this green guy out of the way. It's going to look like this, isn't it? All the way down to there. Do you see that? That's a big one. It is a big one, okay? So you would get a different difference quotient, say that right? A different difference quotient out of calculating this, and I want you to get those values as well, okay? So do it for runs of one, do it for runs of two, and then I want you to compare those values. Give you guys a few minutes to work on that. <laughs> 